Hi everyone, Giuliano here. In this video, I'll show you how you can create personal app in Microsoft Teams without any line of code. But before to jump in, hit the subscribe button and ring the bell to stay tuned with my next videos. Believe or not, there is a capability in Microsoft Teams that allows you to embed an internet in Teams. Typical use case is if you want to embed your SharePoint online home site where you have your corporate news there and you, you need to reach all employees in your organization. Or maybe you need just to include in Teams your training SharePoint site where you can provide training materials. But let's check it out together how you can do it. Let's go. Here I am on Microsoft Teams and I am logged in my Microsoft 365 tenant. My goal is to create a personal app that contains my SharePoint home site with all corporate news. In order to do that, you have to install the App Studio, the official app released by Microsoft in the Teams store in order to create a manifest of this personal app. If you don't have this application, you can jump in the More Apps link. You will land in the Apps Store. And here you can just type App Studio and this application will show up. As you can see, this is developed by Microsoft. You can click on it and you will have the classic button Install or Open if you already have this application. Here we go. This application is opened. Now let me just give you a short overview of what you can do with this application. So this application is intended for developers, but all we need to do here is just to create a manifest and we don't need technical skills to do, to do that. In the manifest editor pivot, here you can create the manifest of the of your application. This could be a a custom tab or could be a personal app or a bot. Then there is this other pivot which allow you to validate your manifest and in this case you can have a look if everything looks good before to publish your application in the official Teams App Store. Then we have Card Editor that allows you to create adaptive card so you can, uh, you can create easily, as you can see here, easily adaptive card. You can have a look how, how this adaptive card looks like, link, image, and, and so on. And then we have control library that allows you to embed and create uh, Teams, let's say Teams control in order to have the same user interface in, uh, in your application of Microsoft Teams. Okay, now let's jump in Manifest Editor because this is the pivot that we need to create a new manifest. Let me click on Create a new app manifest and let's start to fill out this, this form. App names, here you need a short name. Let's type in Internet, full name, the same. Then you need a, an identification, an app ID, which is unique. You can click on generate and here we go. We have our app ID ready to go. Then the version. So here you have to type the package name. This could be com.contoso.corp operate news. Then you can provide a short description. Just let me just type in corporate news. The same here. So then we have the developer information. You can provide in this case the name of your company or the developer that has, is creating this manifest. So then a website, it doesn't really matter now this URL, but let me type in something. 
Contoso, then we can jump also the partner information, the MPN ID, because we don't, we don't want to publish this application in the official Teams App Store. So here you have to provide the privacy of the application. We can just type in contoso.com privacy. And finally, we have the field for the terms of use here the same we can just copy and paste this one and we can just type in terms of use so here we go so i also created for the branding section two icons i can just type in update we can use this default icon or let me jump in in a folder where I stored these icons. So I have the full icon here created. There we go. And then we have the transparent outline icon. Here we go. So I just created this to uh, picture with news here. And this icon is important because it's exactly the icon that will appear here on the navigation pane on the left side. Then you can also select a, a color. Let me pick up this one, save. And so for this first setup, I would say we have done. We have to jump now in the capabilities more specifically we have to go in tabs and as i said our goal is to create a personal tab so then i have to click here and here i will create the name of this of this application intranet this is just um, an id that you have to provide this could be a random uh, number so then we have the, the important part to fill out. This is the content URL. In order to have the single sign-on transition, you have to provide a URL that I'll show you in a bit. Let me explain why it's important this URL, because basically Teams is hosted in a different domain than SharePoint. So in order to have single sign-on integrated you have to provide the right url following a rule and you can read this rule in the official microsoft documentation anyway i already started this url is this one this is my clipboard history and the url should looks like like this this one so there is a dynamic part with this which is this one I will type in the tenant of, uh, of my my tenant name so then we say that it is the the home page the home site so the other part that you have to take care to fill out properly is this one dest is the destination you have to provide the right page that where you want to land. So if I am not wrong, should be this one. But let me double check this on my homepage of my site. There we go. This is my home site where I have all my corporate news stored here let me jump in the site contents and then in the site pages library just to have a look what is my home page and here we go it's the home home.aspx file so then i can provide this this url Jumping back here, 
side pages home.spx. Okay, that this looks good. You can also, uh, this is also an optional field. You can also skip. Okay, we have done with the with the configuration of the of the tab. We can jump now in another important part to configure, which is the domains and permission. So the domain is is the right the right one. We have to provide a specific app ID, which I have available here. Is this one? You can read this in the documentation of Microsoft. Here we go. The app ID is in. We don't need specific consent for uh, this application. Last value to fill out is the single sign-on URL. This is also very important. If you don't provide this value in the field, the application will be available only in the web version of Microsoft Teams and not in the desktop application. So then don't forget the protocol as well. And this is my domain. I would say that we are good to go now. So we are ready to distribute our application. So if you have the right, so there's some warning here, let me fix it. So we have to provide the protocol as well. HTTPS, the same for terms of use. and privacy okay so back again on test and distribute we have another warning all on the full description but it's fine it's fine so so what you can do now is install directly this application for your tenant and this will make it visible the application to the entire tenant for all users you need a great privilege to do that so probably this is not your case in your uh, in your organization then what we will do now is download the package of this application this will create a package in the downloads file here we go we have this zip created now called internet so what we can do now, we can install this zip file. If I am an admin, I can do directly in Teams or by clicking in upload a custom application or what I can do is jump directly in the Teams admin portal. So let me jump now here because there are extra steps that I want to show you. In this section, if you expand Teams app, there's Manage Apps. And here you can upload this app package, this zip file. So let me select now this, this file, Internet zip. And here we go, the application is installed. If I change the order, we can see that we have now this application ready to go. Another important setup to perform is in the permission policies. Here you can define if you want to make this application available for specific groups or few people or for the entire tenant. Let me jump now in the setup policies. We have this one, which is the global policy. So here you have this option. In my case, I have upload custom apps. So only an admin can upload the app package in, uh, in Microsoft Teams. And here there is this, uh, this section, pinned apps. So here you can pin the application in, uh, 
in Microsoft Teams for every users. So if I do this now, I can just type in intranet and here we go with this application. So I can add, I can decide also the order. I can change the order and I can move this one on top or in the middle. It depends how do you want to make it available in the left navigation pane. For me, it's, it's fine, this order. So now this application should be available. Let me jump again here. So if I jump in build for Giuliano, so this is, the situation is not refreshed. Theoretically, I have to sign out and then sign in again if I want to see this application available. Now I can jump in more apps. The application is here available. I can open it. And now my company website is really here up and running. I can read all news that I have related to my organization. I can jump uh, in this article, for example, then I can have a look on it. And finally, I can again click on this application to go back to the home page. So if you notice their navigation is not available and the footer as well. So this is um, a limitation for the moment of this kind of integration in Microsoft Teams with no code solution. Microsoft is working to provide the navigation as well in the future. But for the moment, the only way that you have to go back to the home page is clicking on the uh, app icon. Now I'll show you also how it looks like in the Microsoft Teams web application. Here I am with Microsoft Teams on my Android device. If I click here on more three dots, I have here the application. I can click on it. And here we go, I have also the same experience on my Microsoft Teams mobile application. Okay, that was a quick tutorial how you can create personal app in Microsoft Teams without any line of code. If you enjoyed the video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to stay tuned with my next videos. If you want to see me cover any other topics in the future, put a comment down below, I read them all and this is also how I build my to-do list for the next videos. Alright, I hope to see you next time. Bye!